a little birdie told me you was ready to lose your virginity. Let's get into how to prepare yourself correctly to lose that V card. Your virginity, it's a girl talk video. Let's get into it. If you're ready, only if you're actually ready. About to catch another fight, yeah. I'm about to make him wanna bite, yeah. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up, don't know that no. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. I am XXO Bubbles, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to prepare to lose your virginity, your V card. It's time, depending on each and every person, we're all different. Some of us wanna wait till marriage, some of us just wanna wait for the right one. Ain't no judgment here. Let's just do this the smart way, okay? You feel me? Let's get into it. A lot of you guys watched my 15 things I wish I knew before losing my virginity video. Half of you guys are here from that video because I'm almost at like 200,000 views. Are you serious? Thank you, thank you. But I realized some of you guys need help preparing to lose your virginity. I gave you a bunch of things I wish I knew, but I never taught you really how to prepare to lose it. So let's talk about it. Let me pull out my notes real quick. We about to really get into this. I had to make notes for real for real because I want to be strategic for y'all. Some of you guys are like me and I'm like Inspector Gadget when I want to do something. So I suggest you find that right person. Don't be talking about stuff. Oh, I just want to get my virginity out the way. Don't do that. That is so don't do that. And half of you did that. Half of you that's watching, knowing you lost it, you did that. I know who I'm talking to. Don't be like that. Don't let's let's teach others. Do this a better way. Okay? I feel like the complete, complete right way will be just waiting till marriage, but realistically everybody's not gonna do I'm not I didn't do that. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. I'm just saying, you know, that's not real realistic waiting till marriage. I don't know. You can comment your opinions down, but I don't think people are really waiting till marriage. Like, yes, we're raised like that. We're not really doing it. Did your mom and daddy wait till marriage? Statistically speaking, if your parents didn't wait, I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna wait. If your mom or daddy went to jail, your ass is going to jail. If your mom and daddy didn't graduate, you better graduate. There ain't no excuse. Ooh. But statistically speaking, you're most likely not gonna graduate. It's just, I don't know, certain things just happen. It is what it is. But I'm saying, like, if you don't wanna wait till marriage, like I didn't, that's fine. If you do, that's beautiful and that's what's up. Everybody's different. I didn't wait till marriage. I was popping that thing, boy, as soon as I hit 18. Number one is to try to find that ideal person. Even if you're not gonna wait till marriage or even if you do wait till marriage, you still have to find the ideal person. It's so important to find the person that you feel comfortable enough to share your body with. I feel like a lot of girls go through this thing where it's just like they feel weird. Like they feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna smell. You don't stink, bitch. You haven't, you're you still a virgin. Or they think that their body doesn't look right or like their vagina looks weird. No, don't think that. And if you feel that deeply, like you're that, like, oh, I don't want to do this. Well, I don't want you to see me in the light. Let's do it in the dark. Don't do it. Your ass ain't supposed to be out there popping that thing. No way. You're not supposed to be thotting and bopping. Stop it. Keep it on the playground because it's not for you yet. You're not grown yet. Calm the fuck down. If you're self-conscious, I don't care if you're fat, small, skinny, tall. If you're self-conscious about your partner seeing your birthday suit, don't do it. It's not, it's not time. You're probably being pressured into having sex. It ain't it it ain't it you don't need to be out there number two now once you find that ideal person that you're ready to really give it up to if you're completely ready if you're not ready boo boo you're just not ready okay okay don't do it if you're not ready after you find that ideal person go ahead and get you some protection because pregnancy ain't cute when you're having a baby by somebody you don't know just talk about just like that i'm is. I will talk about your dumb Ooh. like what the fuck is wrong with people that's what's wrong with the world you're having babies by people you just don't know that doesn't make sense don't do that make sure you use protection if your partner's like oh no I don't like condoms or I don't like protection and yada yada oh well you're not gonna get this I don't know you like that. It doesn't matter if you grew up with each other. I suggest starting off with protection especially if you're under 25. I will be 25 this year. If you're under 25, use protection and birth control. Yes, it's very disgusting what birth control does to women's bodies. But having a baby with somebody when you're really, really not ready, you just lost your damn virginity, 
you're not ready to have no babies. So make sure you use a condom. Protection. Plan B if you have to. But this is very important. I need you to pay attention when I say this right here. Make sure if you've never used a condom before, man or female, I don't give a damn what you are, take a condom. Open that some bitch. My boyfriend's gonna come home and be like, why is there condoms on my fucking floor? <laughs> Open that some bitch. Put your arm out. Hold it right there. Just hold it. Just hold it right there. Do like this as well. Hold it, rub it, just to make sure you're not allergic. You know how many bitches have to go to their parents and say something's wrong down there? I need to go to the damn doctor. You know how many bitches think they got something? Because they were allergic. That's a hell of a way to find out your daughter out here doing the thing. That is such an embarrassing way to tell your parents. If you decide to tell your parents that you're out here doing the thing. You don't want to have to go to your parents and say something's wrong with me we gotta go to the ER we need to make a doctor's visit and then they just find out oh you had an allergic reaction now you're sitting up there 18 probably still living with your damn parents sitting there awkwardly because I know I would be sitting there looking stupid and awkward like oh shit how are we gonna get past this one guys hey mom hey dad at that point dad for sure wants to figure out who you've been who you've been with you feel me so he can, you know, get all fatherly and whatnot. I told him, bitch, two of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, that's all. That's it. And my foot right in her pussy as soon as you walk up. Fire in that motherfucker, bitch. Ah! I'm gonna mace you and whoop you. Please make sure to test the condoms out before using them. And when I say test them out, just put it on the inside of your arm because if you're allergic and you start going in a rash, that's way easier to explain. To, it doesn't matter if it's to your damn parents or to your friends or even to your partner. It's just easier to say, oh, okay, I'm allergic to latex. We need sheepskin. You know what I'm saying? Something. You need to watch this whole video and just save yourself the time and embarrassment. Watch this whole video and learn. Don't be skipping through it. She mad, she mad, it's so hitting it. All the bitches wanna beat her friend now, she mad, Hey. Another thing I would suggest before giving up that thing, prepare your body. A lot of y'all don't be watching. Mustiness, crustiness, and dustiness ain't it. Especially when you trying to get, you know, get it on and popping. Wash your body. I think I wanna do an in-depth video on how to wash your lady parts, that might have to be a separate video. So I'ma go ahead and you know, I'ma just say wash yourself. And if anybody tries to come to you funky, turn them away. You have to be the one to bust that bubble because baby, what was I supposed to do with this thing smelling like this? Oh no, oh no, oh no. For me, first of all, that's insulting that they even came to you smelling in type of way if you ever had to even tell, a, tell anybody like, whoa, partner. What the fuck? Like, don't disrespect me like that. Another way to prepare for the do. If you are a young lady, gentleman, he, she, they, them, I don't give a damn what you are. If you're a person that doesn't like to be hairy, I suggest you use a five blade razor. Five blades, five. And I also would suggest you use some coconut oil. Coconut oil is extremely good. So I suggest coconut oil or tree hut. I like tree hut, you know what I'm saying? Before shaving though, I should have said this prior, before shaving, use an exfoliant. Use it, use it, use it. I promise you when you shave that stuff away, it's you gonna be, mm. use an exfoliant, use some coconut oil or some tree hut shaving oil and a five blade razor, that's all you need. Listen to me. And then if you wanna stay natural, I mean, honestly, more power to you. You're a confident bad bitch. But I would suggest you style it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like just clean the sides, you know, do a little design in your cooch. It don't matter. But those are just tips for the girlies who don't want hair. Like everybody's different. You can have hair, you can't, like it doesn't matter. Your partner should love you regardless. Honestly, let's talk about positions really quick. I personally believe the best position is you, you know, horizontal. I think missionary is like the best position if you're gonna do that thing. You know what I'm saying? For the first time, the person, you know, going in and out, it's they, you have to kind of 
relax your body and like let them go in and out let them do the work i don't know you guys can comment down below and let me know what you're thinking about that one right there because i just suggest doing missionary for the for the beginning half i'm not saying missionary the whole time i'm just saying you know to get it in a couple pumps or whatever don't be losing your virginity outside at a park don't be losing your virginity in a car like i did stupid 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 don't do that don't be losing your virginity in a bathroom at a party well if, if you gotta lose it at a party i'm pretty sure it was popping at the party so i mean i get that i mean yeah lose your virginity the most respectable way for you if you decide to do it at a park i just don't think that's right i don't even think that's legal so just don't do that but if you have to lose it in a car like i did i just say pick a place that will be ideal to lose your virginity hotel rooms are freaking amazing you about to be bumping and grinding somebody better have some bumping and grinding money if you're in like an apartment or something or in a bed that's wonderful basically be in a bed be in a bed if you can help it i lost it in a car and i am so i wish i knew <laughs> I just wish I knew better. But that's why I'm telling you. So you know better. You're a bad bitch. Why are you having sex at a park? No. Mm-mm. In a backyard? Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. I hope you guys really sat and listened, watched this video, and learned some things. If you're ready to give it up. That's... We're humans. That's human nature. But make sure everything I said in this video aligns with you. We have to have respect for ourselves. We don't have it for us. Nobody else is going to have it for us. Regardless if you wait till marriage or not, it does not matter. You're a human being. Do your thug thizzle. But just be smart about it. No having babies while you're a baby. Mm-mm. No. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did learn something, comment it down below whether you're a virgin or not. If you disagreed with something, that's fine. You can comment that down below. But bitch, if you get disrespectful, ho, be ready for me to clap back. Now that you've seen this video, enjoy your life and make sure you're smart about every decision you make. But at the same time, live your life. Just be smart about it. I need a one dance, gotta one more time, but I know I have power.